Hey guys, this is Rob with Waymakers Long Care. How's everybody doing today? Hey, uh, I'm gonna get on here and I'm doing my first lawn of the season and uh, we're not ready yet. I'm ready to start mowing, but my equipment's not ready. Um, we're waiting on parts. Uh, the fire, um, got the belly pad of the 32 right and uh, we've been waiting on parts well since the beginning of February with that one uh, it still hasn't come in yet so we're still waiting on that uh, last this is Monday last Monday uh, I went to start up uh, my push mowers to go do a job and they wouldn't start either well they were on that trailer with the fire and and um, there was some damage to it they fixed it i got it home um and went to start them before i left to go do that property last monday and one of them wouldn't even start the other one would smoke um and so there's some issues inside that they didn't know when they was working on them uh so we're waiting on parts i took it to them last monday and they said oh we should be able to get that done with you probably the day or or the next day <clears throat> which would have been last tuesday well they ordered parts and the parts still hasn't come in so um but <clears throat> i got all ready for these already i'm gonna switch you around here uh got this ready i got the oil changed and all the tune-ups and all that stuff on the 52 here uh and new blades which very well needed it so bad it was horrible uh and i won't show you those <laughs> um got the the 36 gravely and uh this is not a setup video guys this is just just showing you what i've got going on here um so did a tune up on it oil changed all that stuff blades um checked the air in the tires all that good stuff uh so uh the lawn we're fixing to go do now i usually bag it well i don't have my baggers or my bag or my push mowers so he said hey you know if i wanted to I could just use this and and be all right. So it'd be the first time I've used this 36 on this property. Uh, the only thing I need to do to this one and this one is go wash it. Um, and then these right here, let me show you here. I'm trying not to show you my nest, my messy place here. Um, and then the other 52. Did an oil change on it and uh, blades on it too. So, um, guys, uh, I'm going to talk about this for a second. That make sure you can get all the grass out from away from your motor. Um, I did the best I could. I got the vacuum cleaner and or not the vacuum cleaner, but I got a shop vac, got in there and did the best I could, uh, what I could reach and stuff. Uh, when these mowers get hot, it cause grass to uh, get hot and start catching fire. So this was, I had quite a bit of grass up in there and I cleaned all that out and I did that with all the mowers and stuff. So just make sure guys, when y'all are, uh, throughout the year season make sure that's all cleaned out uh i'm the world's worst about it so uh, but anyways these are all ready we're just waiting on the we're just waiting on the uh the right and uh the toro and the x mark push mower um so when we get that back we'll probably be all ready to rock and roll so, I'm just trying to 
uh, get things ready and, and I'm just kind of a little anxious about things here because season's starting. Well, it's starting actually this week. Um, I got some new properties. Uh, picked up, I think, three. Um, so got them and probably start them next week. Um, so everything's in full full swing here probably next week for sure um but anyways i just wanted to get on here and kind of let y'all know that uh my mowers ain't ready uh and when i get them back i still have to uh get the oil changed on them and and uh blades changed and and do a repeat of uh what i did on these mowers so um guys i'm going to turn you around again um this is what we got for ivy for her goats um still not done uh lawns are you know lawn stuff's picking up and getting the trying to get the mowers ready and all that stuff i just had to put a halt on uh on that um it, it don't look uh don't look right and don't look level or whatever um but it is uh fall the ground the ground drops so um but i still got to put pins in there and stuff like that for them um that's why you see the gates but we got them out of the trailer uh that was just crazy for them i felt bad for them but uh yeah, they're just, uh, we're going to be uh, getting a look here, guys. I want to show you this. These goats are just stupid. Well, you didn't see that, but one of them got a bucket on his head. Man, goats are just something else. <laughs> but anyways, um, that's that's the that's their pen or their shelter. Uh, like I said, not done. Uh, this right up here metal was supposed to go all the way to the top and cover that but the price of metal is just outrageous um, so that's why I went with the fence panels uh, put them in slats um, and then uh, did a, I was going to do eight foot uh, slats but uh, they didn't have any they were going to be out and I needed to hurry up and get this done. So we're just going to, we'll figure out something later. But as of right now, they're taken care of. So, uh, but that's it guys. That's, that's the goats. They're a little bit happier and I know Abby is too. So, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to get on here. Sorry, y'all got a little dizzy. I'm sure, uh, get on here and show y'all that uh what's going on just about the the mowers uh it ain't the dealer's fault it ain't nobody's fault it's just getting parts is just a pain so uh once that happens gets the parts and stuff uh i'll feel a little bit better and and won't be so uh nervous about it and uh if i have to you know i'll go buy a homeowner's uh, mower and just use the push mower that away and I'm really trying to get away from push mowing but I still have lawns that I do push mow um, and I still like to have one in case um, the lawns are too wet uh, you get one of these big ones on here you'll rut up a yard and tear it up and, and I don't want to do that to anybody's yard because then you got to go fix it and and then you got an unhappy customer and, and I'd just rather just push my and get it done. So, uh, guys, I'm going to get off here. Uh, we're fixing to head out. So be good and treat people right and have a good day.